Noise floor. Audio. Microphones. 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 Get up. It's afternoon. What? What the? Aloha. If you've seen my videos, you know I'm an amateur. I am not a camera scientist or a rocket surgeon or super highly technical. I shoot family videos and maybe some of you out there are like that and maybe that's why you got a camcorder. One issue you're going to look at is audio. What you're listening to right now is a camera mounted small diaphragm condenser microphone in one channel and in the other channel a lavalier. The lavalier is an XLR that gives you a couple more advantages. You can fiddle around with some of the controls. We're gonna take a listen to a couple different microphones in a couple different configurations in an untreated room with the air conditioning running just to see how a home camcorder user who's just running and gunning and this is my setup for run and gun I will have the lavalier behind the camera so I'm talking into this one as I'm shooting things and I'm using the small diaphragm condenser in this case my MXL 991 to shoot ahead of me and now I am speaking only through the Comica XLR lavalier here you go, three, two, one, one, two, three, the Comica XLR lavalier in both channels. Now let's hear the small diaphragm condenser, the MXL991, first mounted on the camera and then mounted on a boom. La, la, la. Do, 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 do. This is maybe the simple, easiest, cleanest way a small diaphragm condenser microphone such as my MXL991 mounted right on top of the camera. And you're hearing it in both channels in an untreated room with the air conditioner kicking in. It's 112 degrees outside right now in Las Vegas. I changed the lighting around a little bit too. So here's a sample of that. Let's check out the noise floor. If you want to turn your headphones up, the volume up for a second, you can hear how terrible this room is. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Of course, the closer I get to the microphone, the better it's going to sound. I'm three feet away. Maybe three and a half. You want to do a talking head video like this? It might be okay. Now, you really want to get close. If you want to get a good sound, it's probably going to sound better here. And let me mention, I do have a dead cat. So let's shoot this scene all over again with the dead cat off. Dead cat on. Dead cat off. Is there a difference in sound quality? I don't know. I've heard that you definitely want to keep these on outdoors, but I've also heard different things from different people. It sounds better if you keep it on all the time. It sounds better if you only keep it on outside. So I want to hear the difference. As you can see, I have my MXL991 small diaphragm condenser microphone pointed at my chest above me. One of the obvious advantages of a boomed microphone is that you can get farther away. And when you're filming in 4K, you can cut in or cut out and you can frame that microphone 
out of your picture. Or you could just simply zoom in to the point Right, where you can't, you can also just zoom in to the point right where you cannot see the microphone. So you want to do your talking head video or talk to your future uh, grandchildren, family videos, narrating photos, however you want to do it, whatever it happens to be your application, your use case scenario. I happen to think this is a good way to go. I could even uh, adjust it a little bit here, put it a little bit closer around uh, where I'm talking. And how does that sound? Is that acceptable audio? Mm -hmm.